Hey, it's Ted here. I'm in my backyard and I'm just getting ready to finish up uh, taking apart my Chris Craft. And this is a project that started in about, oh, 2017 when I last used it. So life got in the way since then and um, now I'm ready to move forward and get this thing ready to go. So let's take a look at the inside and I'll show you what I've done. I've stripped it out just about completely. Um, we're going to do a refit of this if all goes well. Um, so a lot of fiberglass work is going to be done. I don't know if they're going to have to cut the decks up, but I'll give you a quick view of the boat. I haven't even washed it since 2017, so it's going to be a little dirty, but let's take a look. So here it is, you know, 2017, last time this boat's been uh, in the water. Um, it's a great boat, a uh, 21 foot Chris Craft Scorpion. Yep, transom assemblies out. Everything's been removed. Um, and the whole transom's really soft, just hollow, uh, all delaminated. You can see the fiberglass is, is uh, delaminated on the inside of the hull, as well as the outside and the plywood. And what I found many years ago, probably seven, eight, nine years ago, ants got in it. So I had carpenter ants in it, and that's really what I think was the demise of this thing. So let's take a look inside. Okay, so we got a full gut here. We've got the engine out. I try to clean things up in here. You know, transom assemblies out. And there's been, uh, you know, failures of these platforms back here. I did a video a few years ago when I first got into this. And you can really see where some of the, uh, the supports are failing here the wood behind it's rotted so i think what they're going to do is they're going to cut the decks out back here and then restructure this the stringers seem to be okay you know they sound solid so i don't think they're going to have to redo the stringers um they're just going to what they do from what i understand i'm not a fiberglass guy i do all the everything else i do the electrical the mechanical um you know drive systems whatever as you've seen in my other videos but I don't do fiberglass and they're gonna actually come in here I gather and they cut the inside of the of the transom assembly out so they come in here and they'll cut this out all the way up to the top and then they'll put in brand new material and then they'll fiberglass back over it laminate it um, and the only thing really you know left in the boat is part of the helm I've taken the fuel tank cover off and inspected that uh, I'm going to pressure test that tank. It seems to be fine. It's foamed in. Um, that's original. But the problem with that too is the tank is inside the deck. And you have to basically cut the deck out to get the tank out. And I'm not going to do that. That's not my job. So if it does fail the pressure test, um, you know, I'll probably do it one and a half PSI, three PSI is the max. Um, if it does fail, then I'll end up, um, you know, cutting the deck out and we'll redo it. So the other thing I found when I went into the cabin was the whole cabin floor was plywood and that had failed. It had just rotted out. Not a good glass job. So I went here with a uh, oscillating tool and I cut that out. You can see I've cut it all the way up front here and all the way around and clean that all out for these guys so um, I'm probably if all goes well gonna have them pull all of this carpet material out and then I'll have them finish it I'll fiberglass finish it and I want them to fiberglass finish this too just to spray some gel coat in there clean it up um, so it's it's you know I have to worry about you know condensation and and mold and things like that in here there's the headliner and stuff's in pretty good shape I got to do some cleaning here when it comes back but other than that you know we're, we're getting close. Um, helms out, I pulled the controls out, pulled the steering out. I got all the wiring pulled out from the back of the boat all tucked in there. And what I'm gonna do is um, I'll end up replacing all the gauges because they're original. I'm gonna end up making a new harness for that. And I'm gonna put a harness adapter and probably a bus bar in here because this is all protected. Um, and then I'll run the main harness up from the engine up to that bus bar so that everything is accessible real quick. Take this panel out where the where your, the helm station is and then I can get in there and I'll, I'll label everything too. So you can see that 
a lot of stuff that was done, you know, before me as well as probably factory, um, just needs to be attended to. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll let you know what the verdict is from the fiberglass guys. It should be over there in the next week. Um, and then as they progress through the project, maybe I'll get to get over there and get a couple videos. But definitely if this boat comes back to me, then I'll do some step-by-step -step videos of refitting the boat. You know, first thing, putting in the steering, the transom assembly, and then so on from there. Um, should be a fun project. It'll take some time, but um, this is a very cool boat. I've had this boat since 1991, so I'm looking really forward to uh, taking my son fishing in it. So I'll talk to you soon.